Hey, what's up guys? Hydra453 here and welcome back to yet another video on my channel. And in today's video, I'll be doing a quick unboxing and a quick review of the Cooler Master MM710 gaming mouse. Um, so this mouse is getting a lot of popularity recently, mainly because it's really small and it's also really lightweight, which is very similar to the Final Mouse Ultralight 2 that I have here as well. Now, obviously this is modern, I'm not sure if you can tell, but yeah, um, it doesn't, I, I've got a modder, so it doesn't really change any, obviously the shape doesn't change at all. It's just got the infinity skins, but they're only at one millimeter. I can take them off as well to show what it looks like without all of them. So you can get a proper uh, size comparison uh, between both of these mice. Anyway, this is also getting really popular because it's really, really cheap. It's only 59 Australian dollars, and I'm not sure how much it is in America. I think it's 50, um, which is really, really good price for such a, for such a good mouse. It's uh, really light, but from reviews I've seen, apparently it has some rattle to it and people are still saying I prefer the final mouse but I mean honestly the final mouse is 120 USD and if this is 50 USD I mean this is this would be a really really good option instead especially considering it's only 53 grams as well and this is basically exactly the same weight as this so let's go ahead and uh, start the unboxing Alright, and there it is, uh, it comes, it's a very, very compact box, it's very, very small, uh, which is good, I guess, it's a small box, so it's easy to, you know, uh, sack away or whatever, I don't know, um, and there's the rest of the box in there, I think there's something else, let me just grab it out, that's, about, that's literally everything we need, so it's got some uh, spare mouse there, which is really good to know, which means that taking this mouse apart should be really, really easy. And if you manage, if you somehow damage your mouse feet uh, when taking the mouse apart, if you wanted to power cord it or something like that, um, then you've also always got spares which you can use. So that's really nice uh, to have included. All right. So here's the actual mouse itself. First impressions, I think it's really nice to be honest. The cable feels uh, very interesting, very similar to a Model O cable. I think I haven't actually had a proper go yet. I'm gonna take take this uh, zip tie or this cable tie off of it real quick so I can feel just what it's like. Um, but from the, from just the feeling of it, it's very very nice. And I've actually got two power cords that I can show, um, two different ones. So one I got off of eBay, which is not as nice. I'll put it on my Ultralight 2 right now. It's this one. Um, but this one over here, my Ultralight Pro, is very very nice. Now, that's from Power Cable Mods. So we can see what that one feels like compared to this. And okay, wow, very nice cable. It feels like there's not even any shielding on the inside of this cable. Wow, that's a very very lightweight cable. Yeah, very nice. It's really soft. That's a really good cable. Okay. Yeah. All right. I like that cable. Very nice. <laughs> um, yeah, the mouse feels really nice. Very light as well. This uh, scroll wheel. Okay. Very, I don't know. The scroll wheel is kind of weird. I don't really like the scroll wheel that much. It feels very, it's very rough feeling. You can really feel the steps. It's not like a Zowie mouse where you can, like, it's, it doesn't really feel as rough. I mean, it's, it feels more rough than a Zowie mouse, but you can't like... I don't know, the steps I don't, don't feel as, as, as like, actually, never mind. It's, it's basically like a, it's basically like a Zowie mouse wheel, but, um, slightly less loud. It's basically just like a quiet Zowie mouse wheel, so, I don't know, it's, it's, it's alright. I guess maybe if you don't use keybinds to switch between weapons or something, and game might see a skill or Fortnite or something like that, then you might like this mouse wheel, um, but from using an Ultralight 2 for a while, um, I do prefer the like a quieter, more less defined scroll steps uh, on a mouse wheel. It feels a lot nicer to me. All right, so let's move this uh, box away. Um, I'll do a quick sound test with the clicks, real quick, so you can hear that. Give me a second. That is the left scroll wheel. I mean, sorry, ma uh, mouse button. And here's the right mouse button. So here's the left again, and right. Uh, now here's the here's the mouse wheel if you can hear it maybe, and here's the clicks. All right, and here is the uh, DPI button mouse. Uh, your DPI button, nice and quiet. And here's the side buttons. So here's the uh, one further to the front of the mouse. Here's the one at the back of the mouse. Oh, this is both of them just there. So it seems like the one that's closer toward the front, uh, which is this one, is a little bit more, uh, more tactile, I guess. 
whereas this one isn't as uh, tactile. All right, now the actual mouse wheel design is kind of weird. Um, to be honest, uh, you can't really feel it that much. It's it's got nice grip to it, but I kind of wish it had grooves in it that were like you know, like I, I know the MM five five three one had a really nice scroll. Like it had these like little divots in it where your fingers would go, and it felt really really nice. Um, or maybe even something like a Zelda scroll or just any any scroll really. It has like those little divots in it. So this one is kind of weird how it's diagonal. I mean, it wouldn't really affect me in game, and I've been using this for a while, and I've it's got nothing in it because it's like not even meant to be a scroll wheel. Um, so it's a rubber ring that I put on there to get rid of the orange. And uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. And I've also seen a lot of complaints about rattling in this mouse. So let's go ahead and test that now. Put it up to my microphone so you can just try and hear it. Now that's me doing this with the mouse. I was doing just the stem. So very, very fast. I personally, you can't, it's not one of those rattles that you can kind of feel in the mouse. And it's very, like, hard to kind of, you know, hear, I guess. It's very quiet. Um, but there's also been some more complaints about uh, here when you put pressure, you'll be able to click the buttons and source, try and do that. And yep, you definitely can. I'll put it up to the microphone. It requires a lot of force. I don't think you're going to be doing that in game unless you've got a ridiculous grip, like, heavily pushing it in. But, yeah, that's very annoying. Something I noticed just in case. Um, I've You can kind of do it with this mouse too, but you got to put, like, it's really hard to do it. This one is not as hard. It's just like, you know, pushing in, you can kind of do it. So, yeah. All right, guys, so I've gone ahead and actually uh, lined up multiple mice. So, I've got it from smallest uh, all the way to largest here. Um, obviously, uh, this is not my opinion on what I think is small, so I just have to look at just what the dimensions are. So, here's uh, what I was trying to compare before. So, the G305 and the MM710, I personally think they're very, very similar in size. I would say it's the MM710 and the Ultralight 2, they're both the, probably the small, they are, they are the smallest mice on the market in terms of uh, like the smallest lightweight mice on the market. Um, I haven't, I, I'm yet to test out the Model O Minus. I've actually got one coming in soon. I've got a pre ordered so hopefully I'll be able to test out that as well when I do a, a comparison video just like this uh, with all of them as well. I'm um, going to Model O Minus. So just stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe when the notification is on. It should be soon. It's not going to, I mean, obviously, I think they're shipping out on the 20th of September, so. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a while, but I will be doing a comparison and review for that. Anyway, that's kind of beside the point. We'll actually move on to what I think um, these two mice um, have in common. So, let me get a better angle here. <laughs> so, basically, um, I was trying to, like, yeah, see what was, you know, better for palming and that sort of stuff since it's the most common uh, grip style. Obviously, I wouldn't really recommend buying a small mouse or palm. Uh, even the, the S2 was really good mouse or palm, and even like these ones. Obviously, if you wanted Ergo, you could go with the C2Bs or the G Wolf Skull or something like that. Um, but I kind of just like ambidextrous mice, so um, that's what I find better for aiming. But anyways, so the G305, um, it's got those, it's got that similar kind of like thing here on the back where these two like bits right here are kind of like when you kind of do a grip, like even with claw or something like that, it really like it's kind of hard to do. It's kind of like th this bit. And that bit, it kind of feels a bit more like the, the angle's going right into it. And same thing with this mouse. That's what I was trying to say. It feels very, very similar to the G305 in that way. Um, but then when it comes to the, like, the this rounded edge is obviously very, very different. It's a lot more sharper on a G305 and a lot more rounded here and a little bit, you know, not as long. And the, speaking of the length, the actual length on this mouse is also a lot. It feels like it's a lot more, you know, more long, I guess. And this one's a lot more shorter. So this is a really, really small mouse. Um, I was kind of expecting it to be small um, because of what I saw. But I mean, obviously, it's nothing. It's it's just not as small as the Ultralight Two. The Ultralight Two, it just doesn't look. It just, it doesn't look as small um, as it doesn't. It doesn't feel as small as it, as it doesn't camera. It it looks like it's not that small. Um, but when you actually try and like grip it, it's, it's just t absolutely tiny. Um, but yeah. Honestly, this is a great mouse. I would definitely pick this up. I don't know what people were complaining about, to be honest. It might just be their units, but mine doesn't really have that much rattle. Like, compared to what I've seen on, on other YouTube videos, their, their mice have, like, tons of rattle, and it's really noticeable, but you can't even notice it unless you're, like, you know, doing huge movements with it, and you can't even really hear it that much either. So, it could just be their units, but honestly, I really like this mouse. Uh, it's a good mouse overall. I would recommend it um, if you don't want to spend a ton of money for this. So, yeah. And it, also, one last thing, as for the uh, for the glides down here, they are very nice. Not as good as hyperglides, but they're, they're good stock feet. So yeah, 
basically it for this review, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on, and uh, yeah, I'll be making more master reviews in the future. Thanks for watching, everyone, and peace out.